Hey everyone, Andrea Caprio here. I am live uh, today from London and uh, so we had a couple of beautiful days with lots of sun. Uh, finally the rain has caught up here and uh, provides the typical London weather. Sorry to generalize, I'm here to visit my beautiful daughter Jessica and I'm about to head to the airport um, a little later and traveling around I always think about snacking um, because I see so many people have issues actually having healthy snacking and a lot of my clients travel a lot so do I um, and you know very often when we travel there are so many unforeseen things that can happen planes that are late traffic that happens uh, just out of the blue and that's usually when most people uh, start snacking and start snacking the wrong things because when we don't plan for our trip when we don't plan for any eventualities um, usually we get caught up and we get hungry and eventually we end up uh, snacking on the wrong things and then one thing leads to the other we get um, more snacks or we get hungry and we get angry and we feel bad or whatever it is um, I really see that and so today I want to provide you with some healthy delicious and fulfilling snack ideas no matter if it's at home and uh, also of course some that are really good for when you go to the office or when you travel please also remember to share this video for those who might need some snack ideas and I guess everybody needs that and uh, in the comments if you have any great snacking ideas please just you know write them down I'm sure it might help some other people so um, let's start with the snacking and before getting into the nitty-gritty of providing you with some really easy snacks I just want to um, say something um, about what snacks are really important and why now very often I see most snacks are too carb rich or rather not rich enough with protein and healthy fats and healthy fiber and I go over and over and if you've been following me you probably heard me say that protein healthy fats and fiber are really the building stone of a healthy um, diet and especially of an, a way of eating that avoids that we have blood sugar spikes avoids having cravings avoids getting those energy slumps that by the way very often uh, is together with blood sugar and also um, which helps us to keep our cortisol level the adrenals um, kind of balance which is very important in stress management as well so we're really looking for snacks something in between to keep our blood sugar uh, stable um, to keep obviously you know not getting too much um, not too hungry because we don't want to get to a stage where we are too hungry before our meals and we don't want to get too full right so we want to be like in the middle and we also want to provide in between some rest um, phase uh, for our digestive system and that's why it's important not to eat throughout the day but you know have your breakfast lunch dinner and have in between perhaps a small um, snack and now as I mentioned important is to include protein fiber and a healthy fat because that allows really our blood sugar to stay stable when we have snacks that are or in general meals that are too high in carbohydrates our blood sugar goes up the cortisol goes up as well and usually just after it crashes down and that's when we get tired and we get the cravings and then we eat something usually sugar or carbs and it goes up again and then we are in a high and we get tired it goes down and so on and so on the whole day and that's really really unhealthy and also um, leads to overeating and more cravings and emotional issues like you know anxiety mood issues and so on so that's why I'm really uh, recommending to have a very balanced uh, snack as well as it is important for the meals now I give you a couple of snacks my favorite ones my favorite one probably by far and if you check out my Facebook uh, profile this week I think I um, I have our photo with me um, I love hummus with carrot sticks my husband does really I mean hummus uh, it's really really I think the best hummus in the world, world wide world and I like it with carrot sticks or perhaps with some rice krispies or rice cake or something like that that's also really quite nice or celery sticks so that's one of it really filling you know it has the protein it has the healthy fat it has the fiber so really a great snack in between nuts uh, with dried fruits or nuts with 
Any other fruit or vegetable that are easy to take away are for me probably the best um, snack for when I'm on the go. So I usually always travel with water, very important. Sometimes we're just thirsty, so keep water with you. And then I have a little bag with nuts, like later going to the airport, there will be a bag of nuts with me. And then usually I add a little bit of dried fruits or even fresh fruits, can be an apple, can be a banana, can be carrot sticks, whatever it is. Then uh, I really love also nut or seed bars. Um, there are nowadays a lot of healthy versions. Earlier there were the protein bars and unfortunately a lot of the food manufacturers put a lot of sugar. So be aware of what's added there. But if you find a fruit or seed bar or um, a nut bar also, where for example they are adding stevia or where they're adding dates, for example, it's really great um, to, to sweeten that. That's really great. But if there's some you know, added sugar that uh, is like dextrose or something with an ose or so, that's usually not really good. So be a little bit aware that it's really a natural um, whole food containing uh, bar. And then it becomes easy to take with you, of course, as well. Cherry tomatoes are also great um, because very often, you know, we want perhaps something a bit salty or not sweet, let's say rather. And um, a lot of, you know, the, the fruits, you have to cut them uh, if you take them with and then they become mushy or so. But cherry tomatoes are something. And you can also sometimes you get perhaps small cucumbers or, you know, just check out sometimes small little fruit and vegetables that you can take as a piece is obviously the best uh, if they are in their own um, packaging, natural packaging. Egg muffins is another one of my favorite snacks that uh, are easy to prepare. Not so easy maybe to travel, but it's something um, I like to do that on the weekend. You know, I, I prepare egg muffins. I put a little bit of vegetable in there, maybe some nuts or some seeds or so, or chia seeds are really good. And then I do a couple of muffins um, in there. And then, you know, I can just take them in a little um, container or so with me. And they also keep me full and are providing actually a great snack in between. Another great tip is uh, a tin of sardines. Now, I know not everybody likes sardines. Maybe you find some other uh, things if you're not too much into sardines. I usually don't recommend tins too much because, you know, there's always, uh, of course, the tin itself, which we don't like so much. But it is sometimes easy just to take a tin that opens easily of sardines and have that together maybe with some rice crackers. And if that's especially, you know, if you're on a longer trip and you add perhaps a couple of tomatoes or so with that, you know, it really provides a... a balanced meal for you and keeps you really full for longer. Another thing is uh, smoothies. Um, you can, you know, smoothies, you can prepare them in advance. Very easy. If you have one of those um, plastic bottles, make it obviously BPA uh, free or take a glass bottle or so. And you have sometimes um, those uh, small spirals, you can put them in so you can shake them like a shaker bottle. So you buy um, pea protein, you know, just plain pea protein or perhaps a pre-mixed, again, without sugar, protein, and you can add perhaps some uh, almond milk or some juice or so, and mix that all together, um, and then, you know, you have your smoothie on the go as well. Just make sure there's no extra added sugar or, you know, some um, artificial flavoring or so. So I hope these are my tips, and I hope they are uh, useful for you. Please share with uh, us your own tips of um, what for you is a great snack on the go. I would love to find out a little bit. Um, I like always to you know, pass that on to, to everybody because we sometimes run short of ideas and sharing is caring. So remember to share this um, video with other people. And uh, if you need any ideas or if you need any tips or help uh, on also overcoming your cravings and find the right ideas for you while you travel, while you're busy, please just comment and contact me and I would love to help you. It's Andrea Caprio from Wellness Methods and I wish you a good snacking. Bye-bye.